Mary Parker Follett. Mary Parker Follett is was born uh, at September 1868. She was, she has born at Quincy, Massachusetts, US. Uh, she also has worked as a social worker, management consultant, philosopher, politician, theorist, writer, and pioneer. Uh, okay, we gonna to talk about something, the background of uh, her family, which is the father is Charles Allen Follett, the machinist at Shoe Factory, uh, while the mother is Elizabeth Curtis Follett. She also has a younger brother. Okay, she is female, you know. She died at 18 December 1963 in Boston, Massachusetts. The ethnicity is English Scottish and West descended. This is the this is uh, something about the about her background. Thank you. As we move on to the influence of Mary Parker Follett, well, she gained influence after Chester Bernard, the advisor to President Franklin D. Roosevelt, she uh, that he published his seminar of executive management, that is the function of the executive. Well, as we know, she was an author, speaker, and a social worker, and her work was both <coughs> visionary and countercultural. As stated in her work, believe in every voice that is essential to democracy. Sis group are fundamentally social social organization and advocate the power with rather than the power over. This. Mary Parker Follett's legacy. After her death, her work and ideas disappeared from American organizational and management circles but continue to gain followers in Great Britain. During the 1960s, her ideas re-emerged in Japan where management thinkers will apply her theories to business. Uh, just uh, just everything about leadership and organizational come from Mary Parker Follett's writing and lectures, said management theorist Warren Bennis. Her text outline modern ideas under participatory management like decentralized decisions, role of group, and competition of competition authority. She managed to reduce the gap between the mechanistic and contemporary approach that emphasizes human behavior. Advocacy, advocacy for schools to be used after hours for recreational and vocational purposes was a revolutionary concept in the 20th century Schools were open. Schools opened their doors for such use, and community centers were built where schools weren't located. Hello, everyone. Now let's talk about transformational leadership. It proves when the collected paper of Mary Parker says, "Moreover, we now have to let someone." less stress than before. On this matter, leader influencing his group because we now think of the leader as also being influenced by his group, which means when a leader given order, at the same time, the order is for his group. So we now know what Mary Parker feel when she tried to help her people. Thank you. Okay, next, in her contribution of organizational, organizational theory, she as a management theorist followed pioneer the understanding of lateral process within hierarchical organization. Their recognition led directly to the formation of metric style organization. The first of which was the point in the 1920, the importance of informal process within organization and the idea of authority was expertise, which really served to modify the typology of authority developed by the, the German contemporary, which is Max Weber. Next, in the writing, 
Poland unique background often led her to take position on major issues that meditated between the conventional viewpoint. In the new state, she took position on societal.